guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a home decor haul. I will be sharing with you guys a bunch of stuff that I have been stocking up the past few months for our new house. As most of you guys know, we have just purchased a house and officially next week on Thursday will be our move-in day. So I want to share with you guys everything that I have purchased. Now all this stuff, like I said, have been things that I have purchased here and there over the last few months because I knew once this time of year came, we would be moving. Um, and to be honest, I probably bought way too much stuff. So a lot of these things I did keep tags on just in case I need to return them because I might not get a use out of them. And also this is going to be cut in half into two parts. So this will be part one and then I will have a part two of this haul probably uploaded sometime next week. So let's just get started so this video won't be too long. I have a huge pile of frames that I bought and majority of these frames are probably bought from Walmart. Walmart actually has really cute frames for good prices. So the first thing is going to be this frame. This was a really cheap frame. This is probably like two or three dollars at Walmart. It's just black. And then inside for our guest bedroom, I put this little sign and it says be our guest and then it has Wi-Fi. And then the network and then with a dry erase marker I will write the network name and then the password to our Wi-Fi because you know when you have guests people are always asking for your Wi-Fi so I thought this would be cute to put in the guest room so they would have all the Wi-Fi information. And then I have these two frames. This one is just a white one. It is four by six and then this you can put two pictures in and it's white and like gray and they're also four by six. I also bought this gold one. It's like a cream color in the middle and then gold all around. And this one is a 5x7 picture frame. And then I believe all the other picture frames I'll be able to share with you guys. I've already put like little signs and things in them that will be hanging up around the house. So this one is the same picture frame as the first one you saw, the gold one. And it says, wash your hands, <laughs> you filthy animal. I thought that saying was really cute. So this is going to be hung up in our guest bathroom. And then this one is like a wooden black one and it just says splish splash I'm um, taking a bath and then right next to that I'm going to be putting this picture frame right next to it it is a black and white picture of both my kids in the bathroom so this is going to be hung up in their bathroom side by side like that and then the other two picture frames that will also be in their bathroom hung up are these really pretty white picture frames i think these are five by sevens and this one just says wash floss brush and flush and that is how it looks and then this one same picture frame and then it has these cute little arrows because their bathroom is going to be black and white but then i also wanted a pop of color so the pop of color in their bathroom is going to be like a salmon and teal color so these would be hung up in their bathroom as well Next, I have this big one. It's the same style as those picture frames I just showed you, but in a larger one. And I thought I would put this in my kitchen. Lighting's kind of bad, but what it says is what's for dinner, and then it has Monday through Sunday. And then with the dry erase marker, I will write down the meals that I have planned. And I thought this would be a good idea to put in the kitchen. And the last two picture frames are actually two picture frames that have one picture of my grandpa and then one picture of my best friend. They both passed away. So there's a section of my house I want to make just dedicated for them. So this is my grandfather who passed away and I have it in this big picture frame. And then same picture frame but a picture of my best friend who passed away. So I thought these were really cute picture frames to put them side by side like that. And like I said, there's gonna be a special area in my house that I'm gonna have just for them. The next two items are going to be these two chalkboards. And I don't know which one I'm going to use for my coffee area. I originally had bought this one from Target last year. I think it, I think it was like $3. And I thought this would be cute to put in my coffee tea area. And then write down on here coffee, tea, or just like a little saying. But then I found this one a few months back. A larger one that I thought was a little cuter. So I don't know which one I'm going to put in my coffee area. So whichever one... I don't use, I'll probably just give away, but this is the second one that I found that I thought would be cute to put in my coffee tea area. Next is going to be this little wooden sign that says eat. I thought it would be cute for our kitchen as well. And this one was also purchased at Target in their dollar section. I believe this one was like $3. Next are a few things for my kids' bathroom. And I bought this little shower curtain. It's Pillow Fort from Target. 
and it's just a white shower curtain and then in black it has a bunch of cute like little arrows you guys can tell but it's just a really cute simple shower curtain and to go with that shower curtain I bought this bath rug it's white and black and then like I told you guys, I'll be doing a pop of color in their bathroom. So I bought this teal little toothbrush cup and then also this teal little tray. I also bought some towels for the bathroom to hang up. So I bought two large salmon color towels. And then I bought two of these medium sized teal colors. And these will be hung up in their bathroom for decor. And that is all for the kids' bathroom. And then for my guest bathroom, I found a really good idea of how to use towels as decor in your bathrooms. So I bought a bunch of towels. I bought these two large towels. And then I bought two of these medium-sized white towels. And then these are supposed to be like washcloths. But like I said, I have a really cute idea of how to use it as decoration in the guest bathroom. And to go with those towels, I bought this bath rug for the guest bathroom. And I thought this design was really cute. Um, I might go back and get, they had another one, same design, but in gray. I might get that one for our master bathroom. But all of these I bought from Walmart. Next is going to be this gold wire trash can. I originally bought this for my daughter's bedroom because the colors in her bedroom is going to be white, gold, and pink. But I'm thinking I'm going to use this as my office trash can and then go back and get her the pink one. Not sure yet, but. And then these, you guys, if you guys watched my Walmart haul, you would have already seen these, but I thought we'd share them again. These little wire baskets, some are rose gold and then some are just regular gold. So this is going to be for storage either in my pantry or just around the house. And then I have two sets of the really large ones in all gold and each one has a set of two. Next is going to be this oil diffuser. I actually received it for Christmas. I haven't opened it up or used it and I'm excited to use it in the new house. So it is just this little cute oil diffuser. Next is going to be this little greenery. I have an idea of what I'm going to do with it. So I found this at Ross for only $5. So I grabbed it. And then next I have two trays. I have this white wooden tray. I bought this from Target last year in their Easter section and it was only three dollars and then I also have this tray I also bought from the Target dollar spot it is their farmers market eat local one and this one was five dollars I have no clue what I'm gonna do with them or where they're gonna go but I thought they were really cute I think I might use this one and put it in the middle coffee table and use it to like hold the remote controls maybe a candle or something but I'm not 100% sure yet Next is going to be this little flower, kind of looks like a wreath, but I thought it would be cute to put a candle in the center of it and it's just white roses and then with some green leaves around it. Then I also have another tray, this one, and I think I bought this one last year too around Easter time and this one was $3 and I just thought it was cute. I think about putting it in my coffee area. Then I bought this little coffee scooper in rose gold and I thought it was cool because it has this clip so if you have like a coffee bag you can clip the coffee bag closed and you'll always have it on there so you won't lose it. Next is going to be this. I thought I would put this in the guest bathroom to put soap in it and I bought this from Marshalls. It was on clearance for $8. I thought that was really cute. It's just white and then it has really cute detailing all around it. So like I said, I'll put some soap in that for the guest bathroom. Next is going to be this. I bought this also from the Target dollar spot and it has a cow and just says dairy. And I thought this would be cute to store my coffee creamer in. This is going to be another item from Target and it is a little golden mirror. I don't want to blind you guys, but that's how it looks. You're supposed to hang it up. But I was thinking about using it as a tray somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but I want to use it as a tray. Next is going to be a wall hook. And I found this a while back in, I believe, Five Below. And I thought this would be cute to hang up in the closet and then hang up all of my long necklaces on. Next is going to be this rose gold fruit bowl. So you can hang your bananas here and then put anything down here like lemons, oranges, apples, whatever you want to put down there. I thought that was cute. 
And this I bought from Marshalls. So it was only $6.99 and that would go in the kitchen. Next is going to be this sign. It is a gray sign and then in like this creamy white color it says I don't have a problem with caffeine. I have a problem without it. If you guys know me I love my coffee so I thought this would be a perfect sign to put in my coffee tea area. And next I have another sign and this one I believe I bought from Target. It is this gray wooden sign and then in gold and like a really dark gray it says home sweet home it's really large but i really liked this and this was really affordable i think this is only like five or six dollars so not sure where i'm gonna put this in the new house but i love that sign i'm sure i can find some place for it two more things to share with you guys and the second to last thing is this really pretty wine rack i found in home goods i really loved like the distressed look on it and you can store all of your red wines in here that need to be room temperature. So I thought this would be a really cute addition to the kitchen. And then the last thing I'll share with you guys today is this picture. I believe I shared this in a haul a few months back from Target. But it's just a picture, clear picture and then the rim is gold. And I bought this from Target. It was on sale for $10.48. Okay guys, so that is going to end today's haul of my new home decor. Like I said, part two will be uploaded sometime next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. Join me and my YouTube family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.